Hello everybody, welcome back to Starlight Hollow Fragment, headed back into this here. Whoops. Uh, thank you Argo, you are dismissed. Uh, so, we went around on stream and leveled up a lot of people. Like, look at the new levels, 126, 122, 126, and 125. I think I hit 130 was the goal. Anyway, you can all check that out on stream, the VOD's on YouTube. We are going to deal with all of this stuff. And then off camera, I will help all the people who need help. So Asta at Eagle Shop about that harassment Cobra Vege. Continuing off from that Alberic loser. Here we go. Like, comment, and subscribe. Asta, can I ask you something? Sure, what is it? Do you think it's possible to get around the anti-criminal code? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? I guess I'd have to say it's not possible, at least as far as I know. Did something happen? Yeah. I caught a glimpse of Albert doing something, you know, just by chance. One of his men was forcing himself on a female player. Despite that, the anti-criminal code didn't trigger at all. Couldn't it be that you mistook what you saw? I spoke to the girl afterwards and she also said she couldn't figure out why it didn't trigger, so I definitely didn't just imagine it. Hmm, then what could it be? What's with the bummed out looks, guys? Liz, it looks like we've got some trouble brewing. She looks so done with it. <laughs> Well, I guess we did the right thing in not letting the guy into the assault team. Perverts are the absolute worst. I don't understand it. Why didn't it trigger the harassment code either? Could the game's system be malfunctioning? Maybe the system error that occurred when we made it 76th floor has something to do with it. Hmm, but we'll need some evidence. And if we don't find out what's causing them not to trigger, there'll be more victims soon enough. We need to figure out what's going on. Then why don't we test it out? Oh, of course they're gonna do this. Test out what? Daddy could try to touch somebody and see if the correct system message is displayed. What? You don't mean that Kira should try groping somebody, do you? I mean, I mean, I don't think I'm ready for Kira to touch me like that. And he's my brother, I don't think that would be right. Sheesh, calm down you two, no one said anything about him touching you anyway. We can decide who's going to be the subject of the test by playing rock, paper, scissors. Hey, Yui, seriously? Kirito's right, it wouldn't be right. You'll just have to do the experiment on me, Kirito. I think Yui had it right the first time. Let's decide this fair and square. Liz, you know what's going to happen if you win, right? No, Asuna, maybe you can explain to me in detail first, hmm? Well, Kirito here, he's going to, uh, ah take his hands, he's going to touch you. Yeah, obviously I know that. I think of those douches going around sexually harassing girls on checks, all this mystery is as important as it gets. This conversation's getting a little out of control. Yeah, no kidding. Why did that turn into this? This was serious a moment ago. I'll do it. Put my name for it. As a woman in this game, I need to know if there's something wrong with the code. Also, you're our biggest contributor on the battlefield. You should let others contribute to the group, like me. Let me play my part. By think about being touching, I start to get hot, and then ahem. I mean, this is for the safety of all women. We must protect our own. It should count me in too, then. Of course, we need to put our bodies on the line in the pursuit of uncovering the truth. Let's get a jump on this situation. We're jumping something, all right. Yeah, jumping the gun and my nerves. Get your rock, paper, scissors ready. Why don't you stand over there next to me? Don't think you're off the hook on this one, Kirito. What did I do? No, that's fair. What did I do? Looks like I'm your test subject. <laughs> okay, just relax. You'll do fine. So what happens now? You should now touch Sinon's body. And it doesn't matter where. Anywhere, huh? Not anywhere, Kirito. Don't go touch a weird places, okay? Right. Weird place, what does she mean by that? She could be talking about anywhere. Oh man, I need to get a grip, literally. Start somewhere harmless. Shoulders. I don't think you're begging to get your hands on me. I'm not looking at you like anything. Should turn away now, Yui. Hey, Leaf, I'm not going to do anything like that. The longer this takes, the worse off I'm going to be when this is finished. Yeah, no kidding. Let's get this over and done with already. Yeah. Okay, see down here I go. I'm ready, go ahead. Ah, there it is, the message. Which means the fault isn't with the whole system. Guess that's some relief. Yeah. Wait a minute, why would the harassment code trigger just from Kirito touching her shoulder? How boring. Let's stop teasing Kirito already. You got me, Asuna, I'll stop. I guess it's also for his possibility that Alberic has done something to the system, but how? We're gonna need to investigate this further. Okay then, at least we know the anti-criminal code is working as expected. Thanks for the help, Sinon. Oh, my pleasure, Kirito. Should I just press the OK button in this anti-criminal code window? Uh, no, of course not. 
Whatever you do, don't press OK. <laughs> press that cure until it gets sent to prison. Or maybe worse, teleportation is working properly, it's doubtful I'll make it there at all. <laughs> yeah, you could even get sent outside Ankrad and you'll never find your way back to us. <laughs> oh really? Well, I have to remember that. Now after about seeing I wanted me to go to prison on top of everything else. Well you entered your name in the ring. Not that it not that the whole situation was good, but like you you entered your name in that specific ring. Uh, invite Silica. Kirito. Yeah, I gotta do your... I gotta do more holidays for you, and hopefully not stealth ones. Oh, here we go. I've just received a message from Yui. Hey, me too. I wonder what it says. Let's take a look. To Mommy and Daddy, please come back to the inn when you read this. Hmm. It's not like Yui sent a special like this out of the blue. I wonder what she wants. We're not doing anything urgent right now, so shall we head back and see? Good idea. Anything for our precious little Yui. Cool. Yui, we're home! I'm recording this right after the failed stream of Outlaws. I just want to slide it in there, even though you would know it by now. I got it working, so... Yay. Mommy, Daddy, you're back. Hey, Yui, what was so important you needed to see us? Teehee, well... Oh, that's really beautiful. Made you both a present to say thank you for always treating me so kindly. Oh my, diamond flower brooches. They're beautiful. Let me guess, you made these yourself using the iris flower and the diamond? That's right, Daddy. Those were really nice, actually. Did you find a special arts and crafts killer? Oh no, Bobby. Not a truly creation skill or anything like that. I made them using a function I recovered from the console Daddy took me to the other day. And that's not all. If the two of you are both wearing your brooches, you can monitor... Is it brooches or brooches? I don't know. Monitor one another's status. So even if we're not in the same place, we can tell when the other's in trouble? Amazing. To be honest, special features aren't the real reason I gave them to you, though. I just wanted to give you a present, that's all. If only I'd been able to make rings, I could have given them to you as wedding rings for each other. Unfortunately, Ring Forger was one of the skills I received along with my abilities the other day. Never mind the rings, we were more than happy with these. Awesome, that's right, these brooches, brooches, are five pieces of work. You couldn't have picked a better way to say thank you. Teehee, well I'm relieved you like them. Someday, someday soon, in fact, the two of you will beat this game and conquer Einkrad. With everyone's help and the two of you looking out for one another, I'm confident you won't fail. After that, after you're freed from this game world, I'm as sure as I can be that this world will cease to exist. Yeah, this game has caused its fair share of controversy. If everyone, everyone left that is, ever gets out of here safely, they're bound to make so that no one else can ever set foot in Minecraft again. Yeah, even if the game itself survives in some form, everything inside is bound to be reset. But, does that mean you'll disappear too, Yui? It does. No, but that's not... Wait, before I found a way to save Yui's data to the local memory of my nerve gear. That's correct. But unless we find some way for it to be read, I won't be able to do anything but continue to slumber as data. Which means analyzing the system Kaiba built from scratch. Not an easy task, in other words. If only a game exists that shared a similar internal structure with SAO. Spoilers! Fairy dance! I'll find. Given how data so has come to be viewed, it's unlikely that'll happen anytime soon. Yeah, it never made sense that they made more. But business be business. When it comes to what's going on in the real world, your guess is as good as mine. As long as you both promise to remember me, entering a long deep sleep won't be so bad. If it weren't for the two of you, I'd still be broken down somewhere, remember? It's thanks to mommy and daddy that I was able to be born as the person I am today. That's why I made you these presents to say thank you. Not that you'll be able to take them with you outside of the game, mind you. But in my book, as long as you remember me giving them to you, that's as good as taking them with you anyway. She's so sweet. Yui, how could we ever forget? The tears in the eyes and also is actually heartbreaking. What parent could forget receiving such a thoughtful present from their sweet, caring daughter? I'm actually tearing up myself, if I'm being honest. She's right, you know, we couldn't forget something like this in a million years. Thank you. Thanks both of you. Actually, there's one more reason I made these presents. If I can save what I made for you in the Nerve Gear's, nerve gears data, I thought maybe I wouldn't get so lonely while I was asleep. Got nothing to worry about, Yui. We won't leave you alone for long. Somehow, we'll find a way and a place for the three of us to live together, I promise you. I can't pretend I know much about games other than SAO, but I'll do everything I can to help Kirito. So just hold tight, Yui. Okay. Okay. With Mommy and Daddy combining their talents, I'm confident it'll all work out. And I'm looking forward to the day that it finally does.
Uh, well, you know what? Let's follow up with Yui, I guess. Gotta go to my room alone. Yep, might as well hit it there. I still have your child. Yeah. No, I get that, kid. What are those two up to? And then you're gonna be the mother. Okay, got it. Silica, Yui, what are you two doing? Oh, Kirito, uh, let me see. Silica has teached me how to play house. Play house? Yeah, she told me she never played house before, so I thought I'd teach her. It's so much fun. There's a mommy, a daddy, and there are even the children. We're role-playing. You ever played house, daddy? Yeah. Sugu forced me to play a bunch of times way back when. So you know it? Great. Maybe you can join in and play with me. You want me to play house with you? Okay, sure. I guess it's my fault you're always left alone with nothing to do. Yay, thank you, daddy. Don't forget about me. You'll play too, Silica? Okay, then. Let's decide rules. Daddy can be daddy and I'll be mommy. So I guess that makes me your little girl, huh? You don't want to be our child? No, it's fine, but I just kind of look forward to playing Kirito's wife. And you can be mommy next time, Silica. That's very sweet of you, Yui. Thanks. What's wrong, Silica? Nothing. I should thank you, Silica, for hanging out with Yui like this. I mean, no, it's my pleasure. Now it's time for me to get into my role as your proud daughter. Right, let's see what you've got. Okay, let's begin. Daddy, Mommy, or good morning, I think. Uh, good morning to you too, Silica. Everyone sit down and get comfortable. I'll have breakfast on the table in just a minute. Who wants their eggs sunny side up and who wants them scrambled? Um, I think I want the same as Daddy. Sunny side up it is. Please just wait a little longer, okay? So Kira likes eggs sunny side up. Good to know. Silica, do you want some bread with your eggs this morning or maybe some rice instead? I, I want what Daddy wants. Warm slice of bread coming right up then. Today we're having rye bread. Bread rather than rice in the morning. I need to remember that. So look at what's wrong. It sounded like you were mumbling something. Who? Me? No, Mommy. I wasn't doing anything. Hey, guys. I'm back. Mommy! Oh, hey, Silica. Hi, Kirito. You guys been here long? We were just playing house, Mommy. I'm playing Mommy. Daddy's playing Daddy. And I'm playing their daughter. I see. I guess that makes me Silica's grandmother, right? Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit. You can be one of our children, too, Mommy. It sounds like fun having lots of children. Alright, let's do it. Wow, playing house takes me back a bit. Okay, guys, I guess I should introduce myself to my new home. Hey, big sister Silica, nice to meet you. Huh? You're the younger sister, Asuna? Well, I did arrive after you. <laughs> that makes sense. Now I guess I should say welcome to the family. We had so much fun today, didn't we, sister? We played hide-and-seek, made a sandcast sandbox. It was so much fun playing together. But it's getting dark outside. I think we need to go home soon. Mommy, we're home. Welcome back, sweet Silica and Asuna. Did you have fun outside today? Yes, Mommy. Now remember what we do when we come home from playing outside. We wash our hands and faces. That's right. Okay, Mommy. It's the complete opposite of their everyday relationship. It's kind of weird to see. What the heck are you guys doing? Hey, Liz. <laughs> It's our little sister. She's back. Your little sister? We're playing house with Yui. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> You're our little sister, Liz. I guess the other roles already got taken then. Okay, I'll play along. Who's next, Sinon? Daddy, hug me. Whoa, Liz, go easy, okay? Come on, you can let go of him now. My big sister doesn't understand anything. She forgot that the littlest one needs lots of attention and affection. I need my daddy. Daddy, you want your little sister to be happy, don't you? You can... Can you buy me that rare ore being sold for 80,000 coal at the traders? That's funny. That ore is the exact same one the real Liz wants. Damn, it was a long shot, I guess. That's my sweet little Liz, always trying to use her cuteness to trick her daddy. Now come to mommy so you can take a rest on her lap. Er, okay. <laughs> there, there. Good girl. Hehe, <laughs> you're such a sweet young lady, Liz. If you ever need mommy to give you a hug, just come tell me and I'll be there for you. Never seen Liz submissive to anyone before. <laughs> Uh, Liz, guys, what are you doing? Hey, Leafa, we were just playing house together. House? We have her fourth sister. The Inquisitor. <laughs> fourth sister! Whoa. Come play with us, Leafa. Huh? You want me to play with you? No questions. Participation is mandatory. Sit down. You can get the princess treatment from Daddy Kirito and Mama Yui soon enough. The princess treatment? <laughs> I missed you, my dear Leafa. Won't you come to Mommy? It's not really that complicated, we're just here with you with a bit of role-playing. Okay, then I guess I can join in too. Who's next, Sinon or Philia? Everyone, dinner's on the table. 
dinner. I can't wait to see what we're eating. Hee hee hee, today we're gonna have Leafa's favorite ragu, rabbit stew. Yay, I love mommy stew. Hee hee hee, you know this is this that won over your daddy's heart. It did? Is that true, Kirito? I guess it's true that Asuna and I got together after the stew incident, so technically she's right. Yui, I, I mean, mommy, maybe everyone doesn't need to hear that embarrassing story right now. Oh, silly me, that story is my real mommy and daddy's story. Ah ha ha, I think mommy loves daddy very much, I'm a little jealous. I'm gonna sit next to daddy. And I'm gonna sit on the other side of daddy. Stop fighting, we're supposed to be playing house, remember? <laughs> well, if the C6 and daddy are taken, I'll sit on his lap. That's not allowed, Liz. Now, now, that's no squabbling, children. Listen to your daddy and mommy and be nice to each other, okay? Now, before we eat, let's say the magic words together at the count of three. Ready? Let's eat! This family has gotten really big. So nice having this many children. The bigger the family, the happier we all are. And there's Sinon. Can someone explain to me what the hell is going on here? Hey, Sinon. We're playing house. Welcome to Yui's family. Why don't you join us, Sinon? We're having lots of fun. Please, Sinon. You'll enjoy yourself. Okay, I'll do it. Yay, our family just got bigger again. One more can't hurt, right? Sinon can be our youngest sister. And before I knew it, I'd become a really big, big sister. Can someone tell me how old we're all supposed to be? I wanted to be seven years old. So I guess that would make me four. That means you'll have to be a baby, Sinon. What? Yep, come here and let mommy cradle you for a while. Do I get any say of this? That's my little girl. Good girl, good girl. Er, uh, Asuna? Hey, Asuna. Good luck, Sinon. You need to act like a real baby girl. Okay. <laughs> Wish I could step in, but you're on your own this time, Sinon. I think it's time. Sinon has her dinner. Isn't that right, cutie pie? Do you want... Oh, boy. <laughs> suckle. Um, suckle? Gurgle? That's right, Sinon. You're a really good baby girl. Mommy, can I have some after Sinon? What the heck is happening? Somebody kill me, I can't live with this embarrassment. I am so sorry, Sinon. And there's Philia. Oh, hey everyone, what are you up to? Look who's here, it's Philia, everyone. We're playing house, Yui's our mommy, Kira's our daddy, and the rest of us are all their daughters. Oh, well, this looks like fun, can I join in? Of course, now we just have to think of who you can be. I guess since I'm the baby of the family, I feel like I can't be another sister, right? Maybe I could be the grandmother of the family. Actually, now I think about it, I'd rather be someone else. <laughs> You can be the family pet. We need a dog. What? You want me to be your dog? Fifi, you know dogs aren't supposed to be able to talk. Shush. I guess I can first enough. Pet dog. Rough, rough. <laughs> Good girl, Fifi. You're such a clever girl to find your way home. Where did you run to all this time? Mm. Well, it's Fifi because daddy hasn't given her enough attention. Is that why you ran off? Wait, you can speak to dogs, mommy? Of course, my dear. Mommy knows lots of things. Daddy, I think you owe someone a bit of a one-on-one -on -one time, hmm? Oh, sure, come here, Fifi. That's a good doggy. Rough, rough. Fifi's getting all the attention from Daddy. I want Daddy to stroke me, too. Sorry, Philly, I might have gotten the short end of the stick with her roll, but maybe she got the best after all. Aroo! Hee hee, it sounds like Fifi's in a good mood. Please tell me Aguilar Klein just walks in and, like, has a brain explosion. Hey, it's time for everyone's bedtime. Come to mind so I can give you all a kiss before putting you to bed. Smooch. Eek! It tickles, Mommy. I think I'm gonna miss this. You getting jealous Kirito and Asa's sweet setup here? Don't be mean, Liz. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna head to bed. What? Before you give all the kids a kiss? Huh? Wait. A k kiss? No, that's... Rough. <laughs> Daddy, are you okay? Your daughters are waiting for you. Yui. Yui, Daddy doesn't have to kiss everyone. What? He doesn't? Asa's right. Kissing the children can is mommy's job. Oh, I didn't know. But I can't sleep without a kiss from Daddy. <laughs> Liz. <laughs> just kidding. I think that's the end of the game. Playing house is just as fun as I expected. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys, for playing along. Well, hey, if you ever want to hang out like this again, just say the word. Yeah, I'd like to do this again sometime. Let us know, Yui. I really enjoyed myself, too. It was a little embarrassing for me, but I guess it's good to indulge in a bit of fantasy every once in a while. Maybe I could play somebody more normal next time. I've already decided who's going to be Mommy next time. It's Silica. You decided, huh? 
Yep, that's what you said, right? So, hey, you want to be Daddy's wife, right? Uh, <laughs> such a wild imagination you have there, Yui. <laughs> sure that was her imagination or somebody else's? Hmm? Let's do this again sometime, Yui. Sure. It's great to see Yui so happy. I'm glad we did this for her. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm gonna try and make time for her from now on. I have no problem with that part. She's a sweet kid, but like, dang. Okay, let's get Sinon's prompt while we're waiting. Yo, how's it going, Sinon? Oh, hey, Kirito. What's, what good timing? Can I ask a favor? Let me help you train? Well, something like that. I want you to let me watch you fight for a while. I want to see how you do it. In other words, you want to take notes on my fighting style so that you can improve. Feels pretty silly when you put it like that, but essentially, yes, I want to see you fight up close so I can learn how to fight myself. Well, our fighting style is really different. Are you sure you'll get anything out of it? I'm sure. I'll learn something useful. I saw one sentence, my bad. You don't want to help? It's not like I don't want to help. I suppose if we were doing this, it would be best to find an enemy that uses sword skills. Let's do a hollow mission that has us hunting down knight and skeleton monsters. Right, got it. Uh, I'll pick you up later. I understand. Let me know when you're ready to go. Just want to get Silica's prompt as we're going to wrap up this episode, and then we will do Sinon's hollow thing. It's a beautiful Chaos? morning. Where are you, Silica? Teleport gate. If I, like, go back in, does that change what's happening here? No, it doesn't. Okay, um, that'll be part of the next video then. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. The awkwardness never really ends around here. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one, which I'm going to record right now. Bye-bye.